Mike Jr. at uh, Max Apples in London Area, New Hampshire, where business is good and life is better. And I want to give you just a, a 60 second breakdown of what happens with our basket style cider press here that's a lot like the old fashioned cider presses where we get apples. The idea is to get apples chopped up and into this basket and pressed so we can get them into our tank for bottling. So basically, here's the, here's the breakdown. We've got a 21 bushel bin of apples that goes into this great big hydraulic lift that tilts the bin up, it dumps apples into the chute, into the hopper. The hopper then has a conveyor belt with fingers on it. It carries the apples up into the grinder. After the apples are ground, they actually get pumped through a hose that then goes right into this basket here. So we're running the apples into the basket, once it's full, we just slide it forward, get our hydraulics, press the juice, it runs out the tray into a food grade tub. It gets dumped or pumped into our food grade tank and bottled and it heads out to the store. So that's the, that's the quick lowdown on cider. Hello, this is uh, Michael Fairbrother and I'm the owner of Moonlight Meadery. These are my brand new tanks that we're going to be using to pick up some cider from uh, Max Apples over here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. We're looking to make 2,000 gallons this year. We're, we're going to make some real fresh apple cider mead, which uh, apple cider, honey, Madagascar bourbon, vanilla beans, and Vietnamese cinnamon to make our Kurtz apple pie, which is absolutely delicious, amazing with or without ice cream. Just absolutely one of my best sellers. Business is good, life is better, and uh, we're having a great time here at Moonlight Eatery, and we're growing like crazy.